What I'm showing this week is the Red Eye Choco Combo for brown skates. Um, basically what we use to make the trace is the thinnest latex cotton that you can get. 6-0 soy ring, 19 kilo kingfisher line, it's soft and supple. Trusty sharp knife, choco hammer, some low density foam, and the three-way combo, that's the five and six swivel. If you want to see how the trace is actually made, go back into our previous episode where I actually did it, where I made the brown skate trace um, and I used a base grid. So Google the one that says base grid. Here's the trace already made. The first thing that we do is take our red eye and we cut it at an angle. The bigger the hook, the more of an angle that you want to use. Or the bigger the bait, the smaller the angle. Okay, so because I'm using a 6-0 suey. First one that we cut, we cut quite thick. Okay, and it works very well if your red eye is semi-frozen. It's quite a thick piece, as you can see. The next one is going to be a thin one. And we're going to cut two thin ones to finish this off. So it's paper thin, and like I said, a sharp knife is very, very important for it. And there we go. Very thin on both sides. There's two of them. There they are there. Lay them down. I need a thin piece. Well, when I say chocker, I'm talking just the back part of a chocker. I'm just going to quickly clean it up a bit. And all I'm going to do is just cut the square section out like that. That's all I'm doing. Opening it up along the top and removing the sheath. That's the sheath part there that I've just cut off. Taking out a whole lot of the intestines and that. Lay it with the flesh side down, so the skin side on top. And the reason we do that is we don't want something hard. We're trying to break up the actual hard, I can't call it shell, but skin. So we use the very hard side or the thicker side of the chocker hammer and we're going to hit this quite a bit. We're going to hit it until it's almost like snot. It's the only way I can explain it to you. So, yeah, guys. What that does is release all the oils in the actual chocker. I'm just going to cut a section off there. Put that to one side. Okay. Starting with the thick side. I just cut a slight little bit off there and just trim him down so he's more aerodynamic. Very simple. That part, being the thicker part of the actual bait, goes in just below the top and you slide him down. So that's basically what you're trying to achieve. Take our thin latex cotton and I'll put quite a bit of it on. This is pretty much the base that we're working with. So we can put quite a lot of cotton onto it. And like I said, it's semi frozen. So it stays hard quite a long time. Well, long enough for you to actually form your bait anyway. And we work our way all the way to the back and put a lot on in the back area. Okay, so that's basically what we've done. And you can see now how the blood is starting to ooze out of the actual skin part. This part of it, we're taking our thin part of the chocker hammer and we're just lightly beating it. We're trying to release as much of that oil and blood as we can in that area there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do that. And the flesh facing out as much as possible. And you can see it's so soft, it's actually sliding around everywhere. There we go. Okay, next piece. Bring them back a bit. We're just rolling it around. 
quite a bit of cotton again what will happen is as it sits in the water the cotton starts contracting on it as the smell starts dissipating now a soft piece of chocker that we've got that's falling apart in my hands we just put onto the other side of our bait and base grid love a little chocker combo like this the nice part is this bait is a long distance casting bait and if you've got that far far bank that you're trying to get to this little chocker bait will work well this little chocker combo bait will work like a dream and if you look at it you can see how the blood from the red eye is actually starting to come through the actual bait itself as it's going there and again just show you how it's rigged ready to throw take this put him on okay i can't catch him he's too too quick for me it's a very nice bait very streamlined and it will throw far as well and if you look at it look at that blood coming and oozing through it look at it it's going to hit the water it's going to fall down it's going to sit on the bottom and any brown skate that's around is going to come and suck it up guys like i say when you're looking for them when the tide is basically pushing and coming in you'll always find them on the inside of the bank when the tide is going out you'll find them on the outside of the bank and look for that soft rolling white water okay go ahead and enjoy it brown skates are going to crowd this year i can see it enjoy <laughs>